Hello and welcome back to the Movis Archives, and this is your host, Movis Rex. We are playing Agrarian Skies 2. Alright, well, last time we were here, did a little bit of Britannia stuff, so I've gone ahead and moved some of it around. Uh, I've been playing off camera with making some of these Throne Revenge, Throne Knives. Uh, just over here, just using the uh, throwing knife, I've gone ahead and made a few more casts for stuff. And made up the throwing knives in here, uh, just for fun, because I haven't really played around with them. They work nicely. Uh, don't use them against Endermen, because Endermen teleport whenever things are being thrown at them. But you definitely, definitely can use them against zombies and whatnot. And having the uh, bauble, the uh, ring of magnetization, really helps. Because uh, we can pick up stuff and not even have to go anywhere near the mobs. All right. And it also means that anything that appears in that tree, we can throw stuff at. <laughs> uh, today, today I want to get a few things done. We have a lot of stuff left in, what is it? Learning to Skyblock to get done. And I believe we have everything that we could do it. Mossy Repair, Moss Stone and Ball of Moss. Definitely can get that, assuming I'm actually carrying around my pick. And I've upgraded my tools to Alamite. Uh, just because that's the strongest material, or seemingly strongest material, that we have. So we can just use that, and we'll just grab... We need nine moss stone? Oops. <laughs> Apparently it's a bit stronger than I like. Maybe I should double layer the floors now. And there we go. We have our nine moss stone. And that gives us some moss, a bottle of moss. That allows us to complete our quest, getting another bottle of moss. This allows us to get tools to repair themselves. Hand grinding, quartz grindstone, wooden crank. Uh, wooden crank should be easy. That should just be sticks. Four sticks like that. Yes. Five sticks like that. Wooden crank. The grindstone, on the other hand. Just a little bit of quartz, whether it's certus quartz or nether quartz. Uh, is that smooth stone, cobble, and a wooden gear? What's that wooden gear? Yeah, just like that. That's again another four. Four wooden gear. And I won't use the charge stuff because that's a little bit more expensive. Um, we'll just use the two or three. I don't remember. Three. Three regular. And that gives us a quartz grindstone. And we could claim that. Getting eight boon, a full heart, or a reward bag. I'll take the reward bag. Let's claim that. The text in that uh, quest implied that I didn't have enough have enough to start factory grinding? To start factory processing your materials, but you know what? I think I have. Um, but that was a while ago. We'll go ahead. Toss that in here. Toss the crank up there. We don't need to process anything like this just now, but maybe later. And that means we got a reward bag with stuff in it. It's a good reward bag, and it is wow. Lots of raw fish. Well, I could go up here in our garden area, because that's apparently where I put my raw fish. Just here. Uh, raw crayfish, raw eel. Anchovies and trout. Yummy. And the last one from the left side is aqueous accumulator. Hmm. Let's see. Basic machine frame. Not too bad. Tin gear, iron, glass. You get some glass smelted up, I imagine. Oh, hell, we even have a tin gear here. Go ahead and get the sand cooking. Sand is probably one of those things I should auto-make. Uh, sand, soul sand, um, probably netherrack and endstone for that matter. We need a regular old pneumatic servo, which is iron and redstone. And a couple copper gears. Let's go get the copper gears sorted. Hey, look, one copper gear, you know, right in there. Uh, and we just need to toss some copper into our updated smelter. And I got some crap in here because I've been mixing stuff around, so hopefully this doesn't turn too much into aluminum brass or whatnot. We'll find out. Take that out. We want the gear. Gear cast. Just to make up our second copper gear. There you go. A lot of an aluminum brass. Probably didn't need that much. Well, that's my fault. I kind of anticipated that. But, oh well. Uh, maybe we'll use it to make, uh, I imagine we have... What is it? 
Oh, well, maybe it can only be used for casts, because I'm not seeing what I'm... That's not a broadsword. I, mean, I am not seeing what I'm expecting to see, which is like a drawbridge or something like that. Uh, maybe that's Tinker's mech, mech works, and it never got brought into this. So, oh well. We'll have to deal. So, copper gears. Uh, what else do we need? We needed some iron. We got a big old pile of iron here. Just grab that. Be enough. And we just need our glass. Some of that. So, we'll need... What was it? Servo. Like this. Just like so. And we need tin gear. I think it's glass and iron around the edges. Like that. Copper gear. Servo. I have a bucket. Probably should make more. Glass. There we go. Aqueous accumulator. Now, interesting about this. So it will suck water out of the atmosphere. Good, right? Whatever we need that for. Pretty much that'll be for maybe machines that need water. I'm not sure. Anyway, we'll just leave that there for now. I'll take the water-infused stone. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. It was one of the Thumbcraft aspected stone things, but yeah, I didn't expect that. Huh. All right. What else can we grab? You can play with dolls. Definitely precious doll. That requires, I think, some clay. I think I have some clay. I must have some clay downstairs. Definitely some clay, even some porcelain clay already. Well, if I remember correctly, I don't. Let's just look this up. Brush this doll, we need a diamond or an emerald. Five porcelain clay. And one, two, three, four, five. Emerald, precious doll, yay. And that'll give us a reward, which is another precious doll. Precious dolls can be used to make blazes, so we can make an angry doll. Angry dolls are made with blaze power, redstone, glowstone, and netherwork. Good thing we have netherwork growing back here. Screwed that up a bit, but here we go. Angry doll. Don't have to use it, just have to get it. Claim the reward, get a blaze rod. I think we can start with the power grid stuff and start doing some, let's say, solar power. All right, solar panels, what do we need? Mirrors, which come from silver ingots and glass. All right, that's not too hard. Uh, we should have a nice chunk of silver here, and we'll just cook that up. Oops. Cook that up. If I'd stop dropping it on the ground. Cook that up, and I might even have some silver here. And so we could just go like that and some glass, and we have... Which we'll need two of those, but we'll probably want more to make solar panel level two because that's just a layer of solar panels. So that'll work nicely. That's probably something we could do inside uh, Steve's factory manager. And solar panel one, mirrors, redstone, and looks like not much else. There we go. Solar panel. Cool. So we need anything that has needs energy, we can use that. They'll give us some redstone. That's fine. However, we can make stuff that doesn't require uh, additional energy. We can make dynamos of various different types, like steam. Ooh, that's something that requires water. Steam dynamo. Let's try that. What do we need for a steam dynamo? Those will make two solar panels since we have the stuff right there. Uh, a couple copper gears. Okay, redstone transmission coil, which is a silver ingot. Do I have any leftover silver? I should. All right, well, we should have it summoned here. Fine. Not gear. S ingot. It's not an ingot. That's an axe head. Ingot. There you go. One more silver ingot. And we should be able to make up the copper gears. I think it was copper. hope it was copper, because I'm making many ways. Gears, copper ingots, transmission coil. All right, transmission coil, gears, and transmission coil, gears. Is it redstone? It is redstone. Hey, steam dynamo. So you, oops, not there. Assume we put it there. 
You should take in... Where's your configuration? You don't have any augmentations. Oh. Well, at least it has a redstone circuit. Um, it has water already. Is it? Be oh, bloody hell. I'm, I'm confusing. I am confusing different mods. All right. I'm confusing this, the thermal expansion stuff, with the thermal expansion stuff. I thought I had to give it, um... I thought I had to, uh, set up the... Stop clicking on that. I thought I had to set up the configuration here so I could input from that, but apparently it just got all the water from that in the first place. And we just need to add some solid fuel. Just like that. To produce steam. Isn't that nice of us? And just start building up an internal reservoir. Take a little bit of charcoal from there, too. I'm gonna build up some more. And do as it needs to, making a steam dynamo. Nice. But we need dynamo upgrades. <laughs> need more. Can we make dynamos that run in steam, solid fuel, liquid fuel, and all combination of solid and solid and coolant. All dynamos output 80 RF per tick. So that should help us downstairs. Um, especially if we can provide it with a nice stable supply of solid fuel. But let's get these augments going. So we need transmission coil, secondary gearboxes, and transmission coil ducting. So that's lead around copper. That's not hard. Copper. Lead ingot. Turn that into nuggets. Copper goes in the center. And then four of those. There's your ducting. And that gives us side accessibility. Huh. What happens if I toss that in here? Give you side accessibility. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you can power stuff from its sides now? Secondary gearbox and secondary transmission coils. That gives us a better fuel efficiency for the secondary gearbox. And secondary transmission coil doubles the energy produced, but doubles the fuel consumed. And drops your energy efficiency. Or minus 15% base fuel energy. So it doesn't quite balance out, but let's see what we need. We need much more lead. Redstone transmission coil with it in the silver ingot. And this one requires copper and more silver. Alright, we can do that. Alright, transmission coils. Uh, that's a copper ingot. I think this is just along the bottom. Yep. That's our secondary transmission coil. And this one was copper and redstone, same pattern. Great. Lead and redstone, same pattern. Uh, just getting some lead cooked up here. I think I'm going to set up multiple spelteries, one for each uh, metal type. Uh, base metal type. Uh, and this one we'll use for mixing, uh, making, mixing metals together. Metals and other stuff. Because there is other stuff out there. And here we go. And that gets us secondary gearbox. Nice. We'll just put this in for this one. Wait, that's one more? Yeah, base fuel efficiency. So I'll give this a little bit of better fuel efficiency. We don't need that secondary power thingamabob yet. We won't use it. That's where my sausage is. Mmm. <laughs> Sausage and bread. All right. And we get yet another clean secondary gearbox. Does these, do these stack? I think they stack. I don't wonder how many you're allowed. They don't stack, but you can add mo multiple to them. So I wonder how many you're allowed, if we can have four in total or something like that. Well, that's nice. And we have power transfer, so red net energy cable, and I'm assuming flux ducts. Yeah, flux ducts. I like flux ducts. I like saying flux duct. Leadstone flux duct, not bad. Lead ingots, redstone, and some glass. I think we can even do that. And this will allow us to transmit power. We're not really using power just yet. It will allow us to transmit power. There we go, flux duct. Good. And we need the red net energy cable. And that requires plastic. Don't actually have a lot of plastic because one of the things I've discovered, and let's just uh, grab this axe here, is that these 
choppers aren't good enough to chop down this tree. Uh, I upgraded the chopper. So this is a bronze level tree. This iron chopper is not good enough to chop this down. So I would have to... I tried this. It doesn't seem to work. Put an iron hatchet in here. It doesn't seem to work. I have a bronze hatchet here. Bronze axe head. This doesn't even fit inside the, um, the iron chopper. Right? I can't put that in there. I can't swap that stuff out. So I'm wondering if it can't chop this tree, or this just doesn't work. Now, the iron chopper can be upgraded to a diamond chopper. Can plant and harvest all types of trees. Now, these all say they can plant and harvest all types of trees. But, holy crap. Let's try it. Let's do this once. And then we'll have a diamond chopper that can be used to harvest all types of trees. Iron axe chopper. And a hefty load of diamonds. The diamond chopper. I'm assuming it just needs to face east. Or face like these ones. Right? And can I toss... Well, let's see if we can toss you in. I can toss that in. That's a start. Toss fuel in. But you don't want to chop that. That's frustrating. That's really frustrating. That's an alamite axe. So that's even better than what we had before. Now, if I put this sapling in... Actually, if I put the sapling in, what does it do? Can you accept this? You can. Why are you... Oh my god. It's like it's a different direction from these guys. Is it... <laughs> Alright, give me a second. I am going to turn this around. I think it reacts to hammers? Yeah. Are you actually a... Do you actually have a direction? Maybe that was the problem. Yeah, you have a direction. Great. Oh. oh Alright. These ones are non-directional. The stone chopper. Uh, they basically only care about east. Well, when they don't have the upgrade in. They only seem to care about east. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, bloody hell. So if I do this now, are you going to chop it? You're going to chop it. Of course you are. Ah. Bah. Okay, I was doing that all wrong. So this might have been solved with a uh, iron chopper, but well, we have a... Uh, we have a, uh, a different type of chopper in there. So now we have a way to get rubber. And I'll have an upgrade in there later, so. This'll work, this'll work for a start. So rubber, cook it up. Easy peasy, lemmy squeezy, lemmy squeezy, lemon squeezy. It turns into rubber bar, rubber bar. Cook it up. And that turns into raw plastic. You need four raw plastic to make plastic sheets. And one of these RedNet energy cables needs six plastic sheets to make eight cables. So plastics is definitely something else we should automate. I remember using a lot of it last time we were playing uh, this game, or Agrarian Skies 1. Lots of plastic is good. And just plastic and redstone gets us these red net cables and the red net energy cable and we might as well use the electrum ingots and block of redstone and electrum is just gold and silver in equal proportions one electrum and come on two electrum there we go two electrum a little bit of redstone and we get our red net energy cables nice and we'll claim that we get a tuberous flux capacitor. Do -do -do. Don't know what I can do with this. I think I can charge it up in here. I think it's fully charged, right? But it's made out of a potato. Redstone and lead. <laughs> oh, it makes me laugh. Uh, can Oh, actually, can we... No, not recipe. Um... Oh, we can make a tuberous jetpack. Fall to our doom. Let's do that. Let's do that, just for fun. <laughs> Before we go. Potato power. Where's my potatoes? Potato string. 
Because what would you expect? Uh, string. Gold. A potato. All potatoes, all the time. Today, on the Mobius for Regent Challenge. Tuber's jetpack has power. Hey, we can fly! We can... Oh, crap! Huh. <laughs> oh, apparently, potatoes are explosive. <sighs> That's a deserved death, and a fun one, too. Best death in a long time. <laughs> Fortunately, we are we probably will be able to recover a lot of our stuff. Maybe not everything. I'll have to actually figure out what we lost. Um, see if we lost anything important and remake it. But that was... That was so good. Uh, we definitely lost stuff. Um, I swear my inventory was full. Our... Glasses are missing. I'll have to run around here and figure out what all I destroyed. Oh, right. But this has been... Oh, it's probably on top of stuff, too. Like, up there. God. All right. This has been Movies Rex from Movies Archives. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, leave us a like, leave us a comments, and suggestions. And we'll see you next time. Have a good day. A wonderful night. Bye-bye.